Hi guys, Arnie here with Save Hookah. Today I want to talk to you about the flavor ban in Los Angeles, the unethical, the horrible policy that's set in place. It actually hurt a lot of immigrant businesses. It's hurting a lot of small businesses. It's sad because Glendale and Burbank have a full-blown hookah exemption and a lot of customers are being lost to the surrounding cities. Now, what went wrong with LA, one must ask, is there was a lot of internal policy. There's a lot of people that don't care. There's a lot of people that just, you know, said one kind of fix it all where hookah is still tobacco. It's flavored tobacco. We don't care if students aren't using it. It's tobacco. We don't like tobacco, so ban it. And that is the sad reality we deal with today because many businesses are being forced out of business. Our culture and tradition is in jeopardy. We're unable to operate as we did previously and the agency or the unit in charge, the Tobacco Enforcement Program, is actually led by Salinas who held up a crack pipe and called it a hookah. So the bias is there, it's present. The prosecuting attorney should not be in charge of permitting these businesses in the city of LA. There is no ethical responsibility there that is being processed properly. There's no due process. There's no actual, you know, administrative process set in place. There's no appeals process set in place. And this is a horrible policy that needs to be coming back, re-voted on, re-evaluated because hookah community and culture is being destroyed by a thousand cuts. It's death by a thousand cuts. It's sad. It's horrible to think of city of LA being the most inclusive city or a multicultural traditional city kill culture and tradition within its city. So I ask all our council members, all our lawmakers, all our policyholders to reevaluate the situation and stand up to this irony, this unfair, unjust situation that has been created since last year. Thank you.